Well, thank you so much for joining us. It's such interesting times. You know, we speak about commodities practically every day. If the dollar goes down, it's impacted. If China says something, it's impacted. We're reaching record and record. Where do you expect these commodities to go? So we expect that uh, oil will be between 70 and 80, actually. And uh, but in our uh, budget plans, we're actually thinking that it will be 65. So we try to be more. Uh, careful in terms of a price, not over expectations. Uh, talk to me about, about your strategy, because we heard from you that you're actually trying to divest some of your assets. Yeah. What would you do with the money? Is it to, to buy other assets? I mean, how do you manage your portfolio? No, actually, uh, one of the main assets of our sovereign wealth fund is 70 percent, is National Oil and Gas Company, Cosmo mm -hmm. Gas. Mm -hmm. And uh, this company has very ambitious uh, industrial program, so probably more than 20 billion US dollars for the next five, seven years. So in order to develop this program in, uh, in terms of the participation in Kashagan fields, uh, development, etc., the Kasbana guys needs money uh, itself. That's why we're thinking about uh, maybe next year to, to think a little bit about IPO. And how much money are you looking to raise? Now, the IPO would be in Hong Kong, which is interesting. Why Hong Kong? Uh, we, we are thinking both in, about London and Hong Kong. And uh, so uh, we are talking about billions of dollars, actually. And what is going to make the difference between whether you list here in London and Hong Kong? Or would it be a, a, some sort of dual listing? Yes. In terms of the uh, oil and gas company, we are looking for the global investors. So I think it will be interesting for American and European investors. Uh, in terms of the, some other companies, where it's more mining and uranium, we probably will think about more Hong Kong because it will be related to the export to China from Kazakhstan. So just talk me through it again. Basically, you want to split off the company and, and, and part of it listed here in London and the other part in yes. Hong Kong where it makes yes, more sense. Course. And how big would these IPOs be in, in terms of... You know, the two uh, units. It's very difficult to say right now. At this point? So, yes, we, I, we should prepare the evaluation. And you believe that next year, probably the middle of next year, is a great time because it, there will be yeah, investor yeah, appetite? Yes, we strongly believe next year is a very good time for Kazakhstan. We're just looking for the uh, last experience of Petrobras, and I think it will be more and less close to these issues. And so the, the money that you raise through these IPOs would then be reinvested in a lot of your projects. What about buying other stakes in other companies that may be of interest? interest to you? Uh, you know, the uh, next uh, three, five years, Kazakhstan is more looking for huge diversification problem inside. So we would like to create new subsectors of our economy in oil sectors related to the oil and gas service and beyond oil. So I think all of these uh, monies which will uh, arise on uh, different markets, we will mostly invest to Kazakhstan. I know there have been reports that you'd be interested in looking at Kazakhmys, stakes in Kazakhmys and ENRC. Is this something right. that you're looking at? Uh, we actually recently bought 11% of Kazakh maize. Uh, now we have, together with the government of Kazakhstan, a little less than 26%. Uh, and you probably know we provide to Kazakh maize a uh, credit line 2.7 billion US dollars uh, using opportunities of Chinese development bank. It means that we would like together with other investors to get some upside in the future with Kazakh Mist development. So what, buying more of a stake in Kazakh Mist? No, I think it's, it's enough. That's it. It's interesting to see, you know, a lot of investors and a lot of analysts saying there's so much consolidation in the mining sector. Why not be part of that? I mean, why would you not be looking at someone like, you know, BHP or Rinto, Rio Tinto, to diversify, but still saying in what, you know, best the mining sector? We have, uh, in Kazakhstan, we have two companies which are listed in London Stock Exchange, ENRC and, and Kazakh Mays. In ENRC, we have 11 percent, and in Kazakh Mays, we have less than 26 percent. Uh, we have also national mining company, Tokyo and Samruk, and the idea is to bring more other investors to Kazakhstan. Recently, we talked to Rio Tinto, and they have a plan and probably will announce that uh, at the end of the year to start to work together with Rio Tinto in Kazakhstan. Very interesting. Thank you so much, Kairat Kalimbatov. So I'll have to get you back in the studio when you do launch the IPO so you can tell us all the juicy details about that.